shit, we're was... now at the beginning. We're at the beginning. That Th was, that like was a the bedroom. That was not the bedroom. Yeah, it was. Was that it the had bedroom? the old school TV with the the computer attached to I it? I thought it was the second one. No, that was the bedroom. Oh shit! It's the it's the tall wallpaper. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's just the intro that we've watched four times now. <laughs> I gotta get my witch fingers on. For now. What? 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 We were watching what a TV show. What the shit? What the fuck is going on? Are you watching a TV show this entire time? Hold on. It's a. It's a. It's a TV show. It's a. It's a show. We've been watching a show this entire time. What the fuck? What the fuck? Okay, I am on. intrigued. Let's get you down to the observation room. Are we in a hospital? Hospital. Where's the wheelchairs? We're in a f no, 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 no. No fucking wheelchairs. I swear to fucking god. Try and get you out of here eventually. Okay, why is someone on a ventilator? Just in here. Well, I mean that's not our room. It's someone else, Anna. Maybe someone actually needs to be on a ventilator. I don't. I don't like it. What the literal fuck? Okay. Are we through in the next room? Just relax, and we'll get started in a moment. What the shit is this, Garbo? I'm gonna eat this M&M. We're not in a wheelchair. I refuse. We are at least, at least we're in a wheelchair. I'm mostly afraid of wheelchairs ready? just being on their own. Yeah, Mr. Aiden. On the tape deck in front of you when you're ready. All right, I need all my fingers for this. You need all your fingers, your witch fingers. Wait, I'm missing a finger. Wait, never mind, there it is. Let me know when you're ready, Mr. Aiton. I'm ready! This is subject 121986 no, New touch session me. entry. We have myself. <laughs> Charles, That's you. Leading, you have a tough That's you. We're James! James As we know, James has recently recovered from a two-week coma. Uh, his what? We had a coma? In our last Session. James's attempts to recollect events of the accident seen him merging his memory with his imagination. These episodes have always ended in panic, and we've had to terminate the session abruptly. Abruptly. But yeah, like the games. Effect, James. So when you're ready. Oh my god. Back. If this doesn't answer all my questions, I'll be very upset. Be, but you can't do this. <laughs> to... James. Oh. It's time to remember. I'm ready to remember. Do you need me to feed you those Skittles? No, I'm Which fine. fingers? This. Okay, fine. It's like a There's a light. Mind okay. Mind. What's the. the... It can show you your memories. Look into it. It can show us our memories? Alright. Listen, I'm ready. These fingers make me look fancy. Okay. Was this like our old job? In your most recent episode. You recall the false memory. It's a false a memory. Remote weather station. You were isolated from the rest of the world. Locked inside your coma. We okay. interacted with you daily. Encouraging you to wake. Your family would do number puzzles with you. Anything really to bring you Okay. Back. Have we been in like a People coma this entire time? Yes, it just said we were in a coma. Oh, never mind. Sorry. For two weeks. I, I apologize. I apologize. I here for you, James. It's a five six one zero FM. You can't miss it. Okay, so now we have to do all. We have to. We're like redoing everything. It's probably that one line. I guess. Yeah, that would make sense, huh? It's the only one. Okay. You're too interested in your skittles to care about anything else, Jess. No, I'm interested in my fingers. Don't. Don't <laughs> touch me. FM, FM, FM. Oh, oh, thank you, thank you. Zero four. Uh, type in the numbers, James. You gotta see this. This is twenty F twelve nineteen eighty six twenty three zero four. Hold on. I think we have to do this again. Numbers, James. You gotta see this. This is twenty F. 
Report. Okay. Oh, you're gonna do this to me again? Oh, wait, go back. Oh, God, it's a police report. Road oh, traffic shit. accident report file. Oh, shit. You were right. You said you said a car accident. Oh, zoom in, zoom in. Fatal accident on uh, three March twentieth, nineteen eighty six. Okay. Station wagon. Arrived. Wait, nineteen eighty six. City of Wilson. Wilson. Mm -hmm. Wilson. Wilson. Oh, look! I can look around. Pleasant oh shit! Hill Forest Road. The license plate number is. Hold on, I'm gonna. I can. I didn't even realize I can zoom in all the way. Wayfield Drive, Peter Bridge. Wagon was white. Okay, go down. Arrived on scene to discover two cars that had been involved in a near head on collision. Mr. Aiden found lying down outside of his car or his vehicle with head injuries. An ambulance was immediately called. His passenger was trapped in the vehicle in critical condition from wounds sustained in the collision. The driver of the blue sedan, Mr. Hennings, was found dead on arrival. Oh, shit was noticed that there was a strong smell of whiskey from the driver whiskey. and an empty whiskey bottle on the passenger seat. Mr. Aiden was questioned on scene. He described an oncoming blue sedan being clearly out of control, which he swerved to avoid. Mr. Aiden's passenger was his sister. The driver of the blue sedan is an ex-police officer of 20 years. So wait. Oh, shit. So Jennifer's dead. Jennifer's dead. But did, were we drinking whiskey or was the blue no, sedan? No, no. I think the blue the sedan was drinking whiskey. Hmm. No. Because then why would he, we have all the guilt? Yeah, so we would be drinking. So we are the drinkers. Okay, what do we have to do? Report. Line one. Go back. Oh, let's, let's zoom out. What? Is that the beginning? Yeah, this is it. Hold on, there's gotta be something. Because it, like... It keeps scrolling? Okay, that's the end. The car, the car was, was drinking. drinking. <laughs> um, there's gotta be like maybe uh, line one corresponds to here. Oh wait, wait, maybe it's that, that, and what else? Is there anything else circled? No. Yeah. Okay. Out of control. So, okay, let's go up. Twenty F. Twenty F. Fatal accident. So 20, space. That twenty-year-old female. Yeah, twenty-year-old female. Space. Twenty-year-old female. Space. Fatal accident. Right. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Yes. And then we, we go down. Empty, empty whiskey. whiskey. That's how you spell whis whiskey, mm -hmm. right? I think so. Correct. Out, Out of, of control. control. Out love of control. Yeah, nice work, Jazz. Searching. Find the signal, James. Listen to the voices. You have to face it, James. Finally. Finally. Is this like her sister, maybe? It could be the voices, but our sister's dead. Oh, 7,000 FM. Okay. <laughs> you didn't expect to read the comments when you nearly choked. I'm so sorry, Mimiko Chan. 7,000. It's not like it at all. I've worked with Officer Henning for six years, and not once have we even talked about alcohol. Drunk driving. He, he was a father, a husband. He was fine. No way he caused this. It's the door slammed shut, plunging you into darkness. Guy. 
He's got something to hide. Likely story, cop. Covering your tracks for your other cop friends. We don't know that. Okay, so where are we now? Well, I mean, the cop had the whiskey, and he's like, it's not like Wait, the I cop. Wait, thought, I thought we had the cop. This doesn't make sense to you. Wait, so he came through that door. That's us. That's the sound of us. Yeah. Step out of the hospital ward, only it is, seems abandoned. Your vision is blurry. Okay, that's where we were. Let's listen to the tape. This is the fourth. Okay. Could we not listen to it? I don't think so. It wouldn't let me interact. Driving home. Don't, don't have, have that, that fifth pint. pint. Steps to recovery. After a traumatic accident, both your body and mind need to heal. It's not just the victims that need help. It's the... It's the what is that? Careers and parents too? Gar I can't oh. read that. NCS. What? some Is here to assist you. Home care, travel chaperone, living with new conditions, rehabilitation, physiology, and mindfulness. Mindfulness, I love it. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Jesus! Someone else is here. Hello? Hello? Office? Oh, I don't like this office. This is fine. There's a key. You grab the key from the table. They weigh heavy in your hand. Don't turn around. That's fine. They're all locked. We probably just need the key to get to somewhere else. We're gonna go in this board. There's nothing in here. That's wheelchairs. There's no wheelchairs yet. It's just a bed that got turned over. Oh yeah, you know, just a bed that got turned over. This would have been Henning's, Henning's bed. bed. It's wait, who's Henning? He was the guy that was in the other crash. He was Henning the blue sedan. The, he's the He's the alcoholic that hit us. I thought we were the alcoholic. Who's the fucking alcoholic? Hennings. All right, well. Anna. Is it Hennings? I thought we were the... Oh, no. No, no wheelchairs. No. Okay. Surgery, reception, home care, coma ward. We need to go to the coma ward. That's probably the key to the coma ward. Oh. Spent most waking moments in here. Oh, yeah, watching the TV. Let's look at these things. Futuro. Is it Futuro user? I do like Futuro. Fly, Fly safe. safe in Greenland. Greenland, that's where we got number, number puzzles. puzzles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the house the house movie. Can we turn this on? No, we can't get to the TV. Okay. All right. Oh. I only caught a glimpse of the room. You can guess why there's no detail here. It's just beds. And then the door, you never open. You don't know what's in there. All right, well, we don't have a key, so. The waiting room's dark, but you feel a presence right behind you. No. There's nobody behind us. I looked. I like how you look. Don't look! And I'm like, I'm gonna look! All right, there's some doors over here. Locked. locked. It's locked. It's gonna be the key to the coma ward. Someone brings on your neck standing over you! There's nobody there. Someone's following us, but it's fine. That's that ghost. You feel dread in the pit of your stomach. It's it's like the first one. Alright. Do we go to heaven? Oh shit, did you see that? It was a okay, flash of the- A 22 year old male just brought in from a vehicle collision. He was awake and mobile at the scene, but collapsed on arrival- Hey, it's that! Yeah. The other passengers died in the accident. Is our oh, okay. heart going in there? I don't know. No pulse. Prepare for defib. Amp charge full to ten and give me one hundred joules. So this is a memory of the crash. Oh shit! We gotta do that. Uh. uh joules. Charge amp full to ten. Okay, amp to ten. Oh wait, wait. This one. Yeah. A hundred. Amp to ten. All of it. Come on. And then a hundred. It's, it's, listen, this takes a while. This isn't very helpful for emergencies, but it's fine. Oh, 101. 
Oh shit. Is that the right waves? Can we get this on the screen, please? Oh, oh turn the TV. IR? Tab? No. The RGB? Yeah, R3. Um, we're at 100! I can't see what I'm doing. Get this on the screen now. Oh, maybe it's trying on the this. Oh. Oh God. Well, we don't want an X-ray. We just want jewels, right? There we go. There we go. Clear. Oh. No reaction from first stage. Let's try higher. Okay. Two hundred jewels. Keep the amp charge to ten. Anna, have you ever performed this on any? Uh, no. Joules. Keep the charge at 10. Let's go. Ryan, if you're out in chat, is this is this is this uh, accurate to your job? I don't think it's a, no. <laughs> Veterinary medicine is not like human medicine. You are over my one. God damn it. Clear. We don't have defib. Okay, we have a reaction of Just control. like that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep going. Increase again. 360, charge full. You're like, quick, turn on the weird video camera, <laughs> and we have all this old equipment from 1986. Anna, I can't see the subject. You gotta turn on the TV. Listen, I need you. This is an emergency. Also, why haven't I called for atropine or epinephrine at this point? What was it, 360? I don't remember. Shit. I need full amplitudes. What's Turn it? that dial up to- That was a good game, Amplitude. I need all those hot beats. 360. No scope. No scope. <laughs> Listen, all the no scoping in here. We need this to save this on, poor man's life. Listen, make him a machine that works faster. <laughs> Ryan. Oh, no, we went over by three. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Bowtie raid. Brian, thank you so much for that raid. We're just we're just saving a man's life right now by drinking. <laughs> we're also getting a real vet experience Clear. from Ryan. He's giving us that good info about you look at that? what it's like to be a vet. Seems we have a pulse. Oh shit! We did. Look, there's our eyeball. There's our eyeballs. We need to run an x-ray. No one says that. Run the x-ray. No uh, one says run an x-ray. And uh, I need you to... Uh, Ryan says run an x-ray. All Ryan, the time. Ryan, fucking Ryan All the time. would say run a fucking x-ray just to prove me wrong. All the time. How do we x-ray? Okay, we gotta go to x-ray, though. Yeah, x-ray. And then you gotta turn on... And turn this on. I think it's the CC86. A CC86? Yeah, I think it's this one right here. I did. I turned that on. The green light is on. Okay. And then, and then we just press power. We gotta turn this off though. Remember that was causing problems. Yeah. There you go. There you go. There you go. You got it. Where are we with that X-ray? Um, get it going now, please. We gotta press the button. Get that X-ray, Anna. Let's take an X-ray. Like an it's an intracerebral hemorrhage, Anna. Pressure. Prepare for trepanation. Switch on the drill. We gotta trap. Trip. Track. Drill. I know. It's take an X-ray, not whatever they said about an X-ray. Okay. They gotta trepanate it. The drill. Okay, we turn on the drill. Oh, you gotta turn off the x-ray. Oh, yeah. Oh, you gotta turn off this. Wait, it, it is off because the light's not on. Okay, okay, now it's, now it's working. So, are they implying that the our head is in this you thing? Excellent progress. You're doing great. Yeah. Oh, never mind, there's a drill. That's a drill. Are they performing a lobotomy? They're trying to get rid of our head swelling. Oh, there's oh, our yeah. head. Justin Macro, uh, you know, warned us against I don't, this. Don't what? drill a hole into your head. It's true. Also, I guess that's what they did in 1986, lobotomies. That, that's, you that's got some red on you. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's, we're back at the beginning. Mm -hmm. We just had a really weird nightmare. It uh, was really weird. It was really weird. It was mm -hmm. all just a dream. Okay, that beeping sound though needs to stop. This is just old school graphics, Anna. 
Not no, only he's... is tonight New Year's Eve, but tomorrow you leave on a six-month trip abroad with friends. Mum, Dad, and your sister Jennifer have decided to throw a party to celebrate it all. The house is full. You're in the living room, and as usual, you don't recognize a soul. Jennifer is dead. Okay. Look around. Look around. Chatty strangers. Most Chatty Cathy's. There's a door to the hall. Um, drink gin. Take a shit on the floor. <laughs> on an x-ray. Also, they don't say x-ray. They say radiograph. But, you know. It's, you yeah, know, you know. You yeah, know, yeah. fine, fine. Okay. What are we doing? Talk, talk to mom. Use mom. Use mom. Look um. at dad. <laughs> Look at dad. Papa. <laughs> um. uh, go to hall. Uh, go to hall. You push the crowd into the hallway. Dot, dot, dot. The hallway is welcoming as ever. Only this time the folks have put great big banner up across the main hall. Half Michael love. Drinks, family love. Family love Michael. Half finished drinks are abandoned almost every uh, horizontal surface. Stairs lead up, although the party is firmly downstairs. Drink. You aren't drinking someone else's drink. Get your own. Get my own drink. You aren't even drinking someone else's drink. Get drink. Get drink. You aren't drinking someone else's drink. Drinks up. Um, go. I just like fucking with this game. Go upstairs. As much as you love to promise, you'd stay downstairs with the party. Go to kitchen, maybe? Party. Go to uh, kitchen. Uh, go. Go to a kitchen. Hmm. They all say the best. <laughs> no, they don't. Who says the best part is in the kitchen? Maybe you say the best part. Oh my god, what the? <laughs> don't no! touch it! Don't touch it! <laughs> Dad has cooked a roast, a hog roast. <laughs> a hog roast? Eat roast. <laughs> Lick the roast. Lick the hog. <laughs> Um, there are drinks and food on the table, and the party is full swing. Dad has mm. cooked. Cook. Dad. Cook dad? <laughs> yeah, which is probably on the table. Lick Eat. dad. <laughs> Lick. Lick hog. Roast. Take a shit on the hog. <laughs> on the HG. Um. Eat. Use hog. <laughs> Look around. Look around. Yeah, that's why I was like, fuck it. There's a utility room and writing on the wall. Also, Jen is here signaling you. Writing on the wall. Look at wall. Look at the writing. Oh my god. Look at banner, Michael. Look at banner. <laughs> Happy, Happy New, New Year, Year, 1986. On another banner. Weird place to hang it. Uh, talk to Jennifer. Family. Love. Mike. Michael. Oh. Listen, that would have been really funny. It would have been amazing. A, yeah. It would have been so amazing. Um, talk to Jen. She's too far away, and the room is too loud. Walk to Jen. Ooh. Look. Uh, go to utility room? I was so young back in 1986. Benny Jets, how old were you in 1986? You hug, you're going to miss each other. You thank her for the party. She asks if you're enjoying the party. I am in need of a drink, sis. Help me out. No. Yes. You tell her it's great, even though you don't really know anyone. I know somebody. Is it Witch Fingers, McGee? It is. Don't you get the No Jazz so Jazz! No, don't <laughs> There's never an awkward awkward silence with Jennifer. She always has a question. She asks if you have everything sorted for the big trip. Yep. 
Yes. This is like Game of Thrones. I don't. What? What is with Game of... I don't even... You don't, don't want to know. I don't want to know. Uh, your family have really gone out of their way to make this trip happen for you. It might be what you need to get some... Pers Are we going to Greenland? We're going to Greenland. And maybe not fuck up so much. She's going to miss you. You are going to miss her. She walks away. Jenna's disappeared in the crowd. You're left standing, nodding, and smiling at the approving mm -hmm, faces. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There's so much to do for this move. Can't mess it up, but first, a drink. Drink! Drink! Drinks up. You pour and drink another drink. Listen, we made it to this party. All right. Um, drink. Drink again. You pour in another uh, down. Okay. Oh shit! This is the night of the party. Yeah, we're gonna get in that. We are the alcoholic. Uh, maybe we look around. <laughs> We're just gonna keep typing drink. Yeah, the room is full. There's a utility room. Look at the writing. Tch, writing. Um. Get out. Leave leave you're about to go to the hall when you notice the utility room door is open a At first a first we're drunk go home <laughs> we can't utility room you open the door appear in you're never allowed in here normally. This is Why? Where Dad keeps his fine wines and whiskey. Oh shit! Ceiling to floor racks, a collector. Although Papa. he does actually drink them too. There's a bottle with a ribbon around it and a card. Drink. Uh, look at card. Look. Look at card. Pick up the whiskey and the card. It's your dad's handwriting, son. We're so proud of you and everything you've achieved. You've earned this. It's a bottle of twenty-five-year-old double malt. You shouldn't really, but you have to try it. Drinks up. With your whiskey in hand, you take in the room about you. You must be a hundreds, no thousands of pounds worth of drinks in here. You really must thank your dad for the whiskey. Thank you, Papa. <laughs> Thanks, Please get shit dad. Faced, right? Right, Brian? Drink. Open bottle. Open bottle. Patel. Thank you, Dad. Um, try whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, try the actual word whiskey. <sighs> okay. Um, leave. You head back to the kitchen, clutching your new best friend. Oh. You stumble out of the utility room and back into the kitchen. This is one strong whiskey. You take another swig and give the thumbs up to dad across the room. He nods and winks. Dink. Wink. Wink back. Um, leave. I think we just have to leave because we're drinking. You go back out to the hallway. A few bumps and laughs on the way through and you make it to the hall. You stop dead in your tracks. It's Jen. Covered in blood. Whoa. Jen. Why are you so bloody? That's personal. She's staring straight at you. No one else notices. Jen, you're dead. Blood is dripping down her face. It is mixing with tears. <clears throat> Why does she keep... Why does she keep bleed? <gasps> oh, oh, shit! Sorry, I don't understand. <clears throat> Jen. Uh, I love you. Oh, things are turning off in the background. Are they? I'm sorry. <gasps> oh, what? Oh, we saw her picture earlier, remember? Is that Jen? Yeah, it was like Jen in the body bag. Is it Jen? It's all my fault. <gasps> oh! Sorry, I don't understand. We tried our best, Mrs. Asian, but her injuries were too severe. No, I... I don't understand. I was just talking to her. I'm afraid Jennifer passed away before we could get to her in surgery. We did the best we could. I'm her ghost. Sorry. She was talking to her ghost. Where is she? Let me see her. Please, Mrs. Asian, take a seat. I don't want to take a seat. Let me talk to her. Now. She's I'll dead! I'll arrange for you to see her. In the meantime, James is in recovery. He's stable for now. I don't want to see him. 
Wait, he does, she doesn't want to see us? No, because we killed our sister. I mean... You're we're standing? still your son. You're standing in the hallway. Something has stopped you in your tracks. While searching your mind, your sister interrupts. She waves her hand in front of you and asks if you can drive her home. You still feel out of sorts. Yes. Drive. Drive down home. Drive. Uh, leave? Leave. Levy. Get out. Leave. Uh, oh. Wait, we're in the hallway. Uh, go outside? Go outside. There's no point till you find the whose cars. Oh, find keys. Find keys. <sighs> Look around. Doors to the kitchen and living room lead to here. We haven't gone in the living room, have we? I guess. You're sure your keys are in the living room? Mm-hmm. Living room has a much more relaxed atmosphere compared to the kitchen. Various guests are sat upon the chairs having civilized conversation. There's a coffee table in the middle of the room. Your mom is pouring a drink at the drinks cabinet. Drink. Get keys? <clears throat> uh, look at table. Look around. Coffee table, drinks cabinet. One of the chairs is overflowing with jackets and coats. Oh. Look at Cafe table. Cafe. 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 Drinks on coasters like proper civilized people. You can see your keys. You can't. See oh, you your can't. Keys. Oh, I'm sorry. Look at coats. You search through all the jackets and coats until you find yours. Aha! Car keys in the pocket. You grab both. Leave. Keys in hand, you head back to the hall. Jen, thanks for you for helping her out. She has work in the morning and no one else is in the, any fit state to drive. You can I've been it, drinking though. whiskey. You know the road like the back of your hand, don't you? No. Drive. Uh, leave. Leave house. You open the front door and walk outside into the freezing night. The cold hair hits you. You are glad we have your jacket with you. There is a dusting of snow around you as you step down from the porch. The yard extends around the back of the house and the car sits in the front of the house. Get in car. <laughs> you fumble with the car handle, confused until Jen tells you maybe use the key in your hand. Use key. That is a red flag. If yeah. your sister has to tell you you should use the key, you should call like a fucking Uber. Yeah, but we're not smart. We have to live this, remember? The car is freezing as you fumble around with your seatbelt, and your sister opens up the glove car, the car glove box and hands you a note and a key that was inside. She tells you that it's for you, for when you return. Free note. The note is from your dad and reads, Hi, son. Hope you enjoy your break. You'll need to fire up the generator in the back to get power and the lights on. Also, found something in the attic for you. It's in your room. Enjoy. Oh, shit. Sick cool. Uh, Drive. Turn on the car. Rive. Rive. Turn on car. Turn on car. Try to turn the ignition with the sheer willpower, despite holding keys in your hand. Oh my god. But we have to put uh, keys in ignition? Yeah. Or maybe just use key? Yeah. Use key. It takes a number of attempts, but you eventually slot the key into the ignition. These are red flags. Listen, Jen, get out of the fucking car. Jen, leave. Jen's not your, the smartest sister. Jen, your brother is an idiot for thinking he can drive drunk. Get out of the car. The car doesn't move. Kids, this is why you don't drink and drive. <sighs> turn on engine. Turn on car. There we go. <clears throat> now we drive. The car squeals, but stays stationary. Jen suggests we see. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why would you make. There's me do so that? many fucking red flags, Jen. Release the brake. Uh, release parking brake. Uh, Turn off parking brake, maybe. Oh, uh, turn off handbrake. <sighs> handbrake. Use handbrake. You very hesitantly resist the handbrake. Great. Drive. You put the car in gear and pull out of the driveway to take the first drive. First, t like a first time driver, you really shouldn't be driving. You, I, am driving very drunk on the road towards the town where your sister stays. Jen starts dozing off as soon as the journey gets going. This shouldn't take long. You come to a junction. 
Is it left or right? You can't remember. Uh, turn right? Or turn... Maybe turn left, turn right. You don't want to... But you had better... You don't want to, but you had better ask Jen. Ask Jen. She grunts and throws her arm to the left. It's left, I of knew course. it! I called it. You turn the car left in the junction and accelerate it off. <clears throat> Confident that you're on the right road now, you loosen up and put a foot down on the accelerator. You feel powerful. As I do feel powerful. Command. Jen, what have you done? Jen sits up in her chair and clutches your arm. She asks you to slow down. Slow down. That's not what really happened, though, is it? You're all over the place, James. Pull over. Jen is hitting your arm and yelling at you, crazy sister. Strange. There's a set of headlights coming directly at you now, but really slow, like slow motion. Pull over. You try to react, but your body isn't responding. There's nothing you can do to stop this. There's no way to control it. The lights merge into with your car. The outside joins the inside. James, the whole world around you begins to scream. James! What? Also, why did you get in the car with your drunk? Wait, what happened to my parents? Oh, because they like were, were really upset that I killed my sister. Go on. Show us what you did. Oh, do we put the whiskey bottle in his other in his car? You wake up in the car. Your world is upside down. Your seatbelt struggles with gravity, trying to hold in your seat and impact. Into another car is torn. A hole in the chest as poisonous fumes spill into your car from the ends. You are in grave danger. You have to get out of here. Get out? Get out. You can't move. Your seatbelt is still in place. Um, uh, unbuckle. The seatbelt. Um, can we use this thing? No. Um, remove seatbelt. Wait, 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 wait. Look around. The car is broken beyond repair. The windshield is smashed. And here's a wreckage all around you. You are both wearing your seatbelts. Take off seatbelt? You release yourself from the seat. Garrett takes over as you slump onto the roof of the car. Um, Get out. You squeeze through the wreckage and fall to your knees on the ground next to your vehicle. Every breath brings pain to your chest. Your head is throbbing. A blue car is smashed into the passenger side of your car. Your life cannot be ruined by this. You are standing holding your whiskey and your dad's note and flashing lights are approaching at a distance. Um, go to car? What car? The other car or yours? The... So here's the thing. We planted the whiskey bottle in the I car. know we planted the whiskey bottle, but do... But if we type that, do we then use... Like, what if we take... What if the whole idea is we take responsibility, remember? But they said that even when we try to do responsibility, they're like, that's not how the story ends up, right? Well, let's try. Yeah. Because what if there's two endings? What if there's a bad ending and what if there's a good, e good ending? Because it's a spooky game, right? Mm -hmm. Um... My car. Oh. Go to my car. There's nothing here that can help you in there. You need to fix this before okay. the police arrive. I just wanted to make sure because I was like, mm -hmm. if there are two options, this might be a breaking point where we can redeem ourselves by taking credit mm -hmm. or like being responsible. Try, try just doing wait for police. Okay. Let's try to look around just to make sure we aren't mix missing anything. Lock around. Lock around. Oh, yeah. Look. Crash site. Smoke bills from the crash. Cars to the sky above. Exterior lights flickering on and off. Go to blue car. Okay, we can't. I don't think we can get out of it. The door's jammed. You don't have time to mess around like this, James. Uh, open door. What car? Oh. Open blue car. Open blue car. What? Uh, look at blue car, maybe. The 
hazard lights are blinking and fumes are rising from the engine. Though they smash the windows, you can see the motionless driver. Put whiskey bottle. Well, that's not smart thinking, James, is it? They will eventually find it where... Find it there and we'll link it to you. Hmm. Okay, go to blue car. Doors jammed. You don't have time for messing around like this, James. Open door. Oh. Um. What else? Uh, empty whiskey? Wiki. Go um, to... What? What is this? I don't know. What? Oh, is that supposed to be signified like the cops? Right? Yeah. All right, let's see what this says. Um. <clears throat> oh, it says put whiskey in blue car. Oh. That's what we thought we did. I, we probably weren't phrasing. Yeah. Correctly. Yeah. With the lights approaching closer, you begin to hear the thrill... The shrill of the sirens. You simply can't go to jail for this. You clean the bottle to remove your connection with the whiskey. You then deliberately spill the remainder of the bottle's contents onto the driver and you toss the criminal evidence onto his passenger seat. All right. A circle of flashing lights surround you, illuminating the crash site in the darkness. Beyond them, an army of people are all staring. One figure steps out, a silhouette, and walks <gasps> towards you. Hello? Um. Approach? Um, greet? Maybe go to silhouette? Oh yeah, go to figure. You approach the man, pulsating lights around you get dimmer and dimmer while the pain in your head increases. You fall to the ground you. and at his feet. I know you're tearing yourself apart over it, but no matter what you keep telling yourself, you have to listen to me. Okay, I'm listening that to you, Jen. to remember it was all your fault you ass it you was sort of Jen's fault too I there mean was it wasn't so really many red Jen's flags. Yeah. there were so many red flags how you left me there to protect yourself planting evidence of some poor man we did you sort of leave Jen into that officer and you wrecked all <clears> of our lives and you couldn't even take responsibility. Listen, I'm a 22 year old man. No one else. Save yourself. Only it was wrong, wasn't it? Look at you now. Utterly consumed by it. Well, I mean, we've been in a coma for a while. Yeah. Say it, James. Thanks, dead sister ghost. How do you even say it? Say it. Tell them. How? Do we leave? Do we go outside? Something familiar about this yourself. bed. What did they what they did to you? Oh, oh, there we go. It has to end, James. Do you not understand? I don't understand. Come on, Ward. This episode you're having must come to an end. Back there? No. Make it stop. Make it stop. You remember? Guess we have to go back to the game. Oh sh shit! I'm lost. <laughs> stop the session in the stage. All right. So, yeah, there you go. That way. Oh, okay. So we have to go back to where the recording is. 
I feel like all edgy horror Goodbye games end in finding out you killed your wife, family, siblings, child. Yep. It's true. A hundred percent true. That was like what um, Layers of Fear was like you killed your you wife? This I think so. Oh god, the... Like, look down, maybe. The strokes. Oh god, that's even worse. This, James. You can't let go. I'll go that way. Yeah, because we went into this room. Sometimes they make you watch your past sessions to see what really happened. I thought it would be in this room. I guess outside. we gotta. Maybe we gotta go. Maybe go back into the watching room. Oh, that room's like bright white. Do you see that room? Yeah. What? It's gotta be this room. Has to be. Certainly feels like an emergency. Maybe we gotta like. Dr. Alexander is watching remotely. I don't even know if anyone else is ever with him. Okay. Hmm. I mean, I feel like that though is like, like someone killing someone accidentally, or like mm -hmm. someone. Oh. We just had to click the right button, I guess. I guess. Well. I think we've made progress today, Mr. Hishin. I guess Station. we should tell the police what you've told us. Although I don't suspect they'll take you anywhere. I think you'll be with us for quite some time. Come yeah, on. because I'm... Let's get you back to your shows. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. That's it. So basically, we are so... In. Hold on. What's the name of the show? Stories Untold. Stories Untold. So basically, we're in such a rough condition that they actually won't even imprison us. Yeah, because we're like, we were in a coma. Mm-hmm.